Okay, so today we're going to demonstrate changing out the gasket on a Skycan Statum sterilizer. This is the cassette for a Statum 2000, but the Statum 5000 is uh, nearly an identical design, just a larger cassette, so this should serve for both. So the first thing we're going to do is remove our old gasket. And for that I'm just going to take a small flat screwdriver and pry at the gasket in the corner until I can get a piece out and then just kind of pull it around. Okay. I might want to take a damp cloth and just run around the edge. Where the gasket sits, just to make sure it's a little clean. So now we're going to uh, put our new gasket in. We're going to use the Statum 2000 gasket kit. That includes the replacement gasket itself bottle of lubricant to help you install the gasket and of course instructions on removal and installation of the new seal. If you look closely at the gasket you'll notice that there's alignment tabs at the top of each corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in this upper corner where the two ventilation holes are we're going to line up the two holes and we're going to line up the tabs in the corner and then we're going to work each corner around the seal so then we can work the excess uh, rubber back up into the groove between the corners so we'll put a little lube on the place where we're going to work get those holes lined up. This really is probably the most important part of installing the gasket right here is to make sure that the two alignment nubs around the hole and each one line up properly in there that way you get a good gap through there so that the steam can, es can escape the way it needs to. So that's our first corner. Put a little more lube on up here. Move into this corner. And the real trick is getting the, if you get that alignment tab in there just right. This corner, a little more lube. We think one of the advantages that we have too is um, we use a um, a bottle with a squirt nipple on the end of it. So instead of sort of having to dip your fingers in it or pour some on and you actually get a little bit more, we think you get a little bit more control over where you're going to put the lube there and how much you're going to actually use with a, with a squeeze bottle. Okay, so looking pretty good. So we've got all four corners in. we still got a little slack here. Now we're going to push that in. We're gonna get a little lube up in there. Really, what you want to do is work from the corners in. The same thing down here on this edge. Once you get the gasket aligned in there, then just go from the corners back and get a little push on that 
right edge there. All you gotta do is make sure that that gets up nice and tight up in that groove there. Make sure you can see it, but you can feel it when you run your finger along it. You can tell that, that that's all right up in there nice and tight. And the same thing along this end. Get that up in place. There you have it. That is Let's see. <laughs> Not quite. Make sure you get that all the way up around there. Go back, check. Make sure you can see through those holes back there. the excess lube and then be ready to put your set back together. Just like that. Thanks for watching.